Boys, we are back on episode number 67 over there. Brett and oh, who else is on the combine? What's the guy's name on the combine? Fletcher. Fletcher. Fle Brett and Fletcher are going ham over there. I actually switched spots with uh, Farmer Jeremy over there, and we are running the Duramax. Now, this this thing is literally insane, dude. We got this loaded all the way, if you didn't see from that other episode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get it there, and then I'm just going to get out of it, and I'm probably going to help them with harvest or either help them with disking over there and let these guys just unload all the bales. What we're making there. There we go. Okay. What What is Big Tires doing, dude? He's in the... Did he say, is he in the New Holland? Oh my god. Okay, I have no idea what Big Tires is doing, but he's supposed to be running the disc, but it's fine. Okay. Where, okay, dude, these guys must not watch our episodes, man. These guys don't know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> these guys don't know where to take the corn or anything. Okay, these guys are all falling. Perfect. We're heading over to Pride Farms. That's where all these guys are asking, where are we going? We're heading over to Pride Farms to unload all these bales. And then there's like three big... Man, they're like... Uh, I don't even know. Three big sheds, I guess you could say. And that's where we're going to we're, we're gonna keep all the bales. If you guys are enjoying farming, let me know by smashing that like button. I'm thinking we're just going to do farming every day at 8 a.m. And then just regular videos at 5 p.m. Central Time. So two videos a day if you guys can handle watching that much, baby. So we better slow her down because we are going to probably tip up here. Lower. Lower. There we go. Swing wide, brothers. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, tractors can't keep up. I was, I must have been flying there. Duramax, she's squatting a little bit, dude. It looks, I don't know, this setup, it just looks perfect, I feel like. The Duramax. I love the hood scoop, too. It looks sweet. She's just squatting the perfect amount, too. Well, look at her. Here we go. Okay, we're going to pull in here without tipping because we're almost there. We do not want to tip. Here we go. This PJ actually works really good, too. It's like the perfect size trailer. Okay, now we don't, okay, we don't want to run over chickens, especially with all this weight, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. We're probably going to... Ah, what shed? I think we'll do this shed over here. Where we'll unload them. Ah, I don't know. Or actually, we could go... We're using that shed, kind of. Sort of. Uh, I'm trying to decide what shed we should go into. I'm, I, I got to decide how to perfectly back this up, too. There we go. He's coming around the corner. I think if we... That should be the perfect parking spot. So we, what we'll do, we'll unload into this shed right here. Stack all these bales back here. Uh, I do. Oh, dude, he just ran into me, or did he just run into like a rock? Oh, uh, he ran into like a rock over there. Okay, hopefully he can move the water trailer. I'm gonna ask him to move the water trailer over here, and we're gonna stack all these bales in this shed. There we go. Okay, hopefully he can move the water trailer back up here. Look up to her. Actually, I can hook him up. Yeah, perfect. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. He's close. There we go. Good. Okay. Move it over here. Move it over like right here. There we go. Yep. Okay. He should be backing her in. Hopefully he's backing her in. There you go. He's pulling around here. Perfect. Uh, put it in the bin uh, with the auger. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Maybe I'll have to do the corn or something because I don't know why he just switched, switched over there. There we go. Perfect. Should be good. We'll just unattach that. Okay, these guys got to unload all the bales. Okay. Okay, these guys are going to be unloading all the bales right here. It shouldn't take too long, to be honest. There we go. Okay, big tires, dude. This guy, this guy's kind of annoyed. He just gets, like, in the way. Holy crap, dude. Okay. Big tires, go back to your 9400, man. Oh my gosh, okay. These guys will start stacking the bales. Okay, perfect. Logan should be unloading. Wait, where's he unloading at? Okay, so big tires. He's running the new hole and all over the place. He put her in the ditch. We gotta climb out of the ditch. We should be good. Come on. Come on. There we go, perfect. Big tires, hopefully he goes back to the 9400. He's just like tearing everything up. He's just, okay, not really screwing. He's kind of screwing things up a little bit, but he should be able to get around here. He doesn't know where to unload, so I'm going to take, dude, the new Holland is slipping. Holy crap, dude, it's slipping. There it goes. It's starting to get speed. Okay, yeah, it's a good idea. It's a good idea we got the semi now instead of the new Holland running. 
Perfect. And then once those guys get done unloading bales, I think I may like lease a disc or something. And, ha and everybody's just going to start disking, basically, is what we'll do to get everything disked up. And then everything will be basically ready to go for planting. Yeah. Unless, actually, I could leave some fields like untouched and just cultivate them in the spring, I guess, too. So maybe, yeah, we could just wait for that. Perfect. Okay, Logan's got to go. He's got to be back soon. Perfect. There we go. Okay, oh, and those guys are unloading. So maybe I will go. What? Don't say there's an open spot. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Big tires. I don't know. That guy, that guy's got some humor behind him. He's just, he just run all over. I think he purposely put the new hole in just right in the ditch so I'd have to get in, you know. Get it, yank her out, but we're gonna go and load this corn into the grain bins over here. And then, Brett, how full? How full is your semi over there? Oh, by sixty percent. Okay, you okay? That's that's kind of a lot of grain, though, too. Okay. Oh, Logan left the server. So I guess there. Oh boy, we're swinging all over. I guess there technically is a spot open if anybody does decide to join. We'll see. I'm not gonna say anything about people joining, but there is a spot open. So if people see it, they'll be like. Oh, they can get, they can jump in here. Okay, New Holland, she's just barely rolling through here. Come on, baby. Come on, crawl, crawl. There we go. He's doing her. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. We're going so slow through here. There we go. She's making her, though. She's kind of making her. Perfect. Okay, we're going to go and load in here. And then, Brett, you know where to unload, right? Just, yeah. We have, yeah, we have the auger set In the setup. silos, of course. Yeah, yeah, we have the auger set up with the grain on the grain bin over here. And then we don't technically have a tractor running it, but it'll still work. Okay, some dude's just taking my horse and running across. Is that Owen? That might be Owen. <laughs> we'll see who that is. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude, I have no idea who that is. Just run a horse right across there. Somebody's stealing my horse, dude. Holy crap. Where's Clint when you need him? <laughs> oh, it was big tires. It was exactly. It was big tires. Big tires. Dude, that kid just, he, holy crap, he's just trying everything out. Okay, there we go. Big tires. You unload here, man. That's all you had to do. Is unloading in the green bin? Oh, it is. It must be. Wait, no, no, no. Where's this unloading to? That wasn't good. That was not good. I think we just unloaded into the ground or something. No, big tires. Don't, 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 big tires. Oh, okay, see? Okay, I need a tractor. I need a tractor really bad. We have grass in here, and we just unload that into the ground. Yes, we did. Oh, dude. Okay, no, don't unload. Big tires. No, dude. We're losing all of our corn right now, man. Big tires, man. Come on. Holy crap, dude. Look at this. Well, big tires, thank you for losing all of my corn. Or I guess I left the... Wow, nice job. Good job, man. <laughs> <laughs> holy crap dude he just lost all of my corn good job big tires okay so yes all of my corn somehow it just disappears because this is filled with grass and so it didn't he said no problem <laughs> oh dude somehow this is filled with grass so it didn't actually go in here so how much was that man i wonder how much <laughs> okay we're not letting big tires okay um oh yeah of course big tires every time you make a public server yeah big tires and okay perfect um, but anyways, I need to get money for the corn we just lost, so... You have 106,000 corn in the silo right now. Yeah, we had that before already. I had that, I had okay. 106,000 in there already, like right before this, so... Ah, oh man, how much was in those gravity wagons, though? Okay, so each gravity wagon holds... Let's check. So, I need to add... Okay, so, I remember this guy. So, each gravi gravity wagon holds 14,000, so that's 28,000 total. But what's the highest? Because I was going to sell in the spring when corn prices were extremely high. So I think corn prices got up to $2,000. So 28000 times 2, we could just go 56000 Yeah, we'll just go 56000 So I can add 56000 in because that's what price I should have got for the corn that we just lost. So remember, guys, I got to add $56,000 in. Um, and then I need a tractor to clear out this grass because the grass is what's making me lose all that corn. It's like... I don't know. For some reason, it's not going to the auger. Okay. Big tires. Holy crap, dude. Okay. We're going to let that kid do whatever for now. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, Brett, just make sure when you come back and unload, you or actually, you know what? I could use the F-350. That's what I could do. It should be all set up to unload, but make sure when you come back to unload, just tap uh, tap I just once and make sure it's actually going into the bin. You can actually see it going into the auger. Cause, uh, all right. Uh, yeah, because 
I've done this like a multiple times. It wasn't it wasn't Big Tyre's fault either. I I kind of had it set up to where it was most likely he was just gonna lose it. He was just trying to help, to be honest. So I, I shouldn't have been too hard on him. But okay, we're gonna turn back here, and I'm just gonna try to empty the grass. Even though this yeah the truck doesn't have a PTO or anything, but. There we go. Okay, all the grass is emptied, and now it should work. I'm just going to leave the truck connected to it, to be honest. Here we go. Okay, big tires. I don't know what that kid is doing. <laughs> We're just going to jump in uh, the 9400. Or actually, shoot, we got to unload all this stuff. Holy crap. Okay, Farmer Jeremy over here. He's he's getting there, kind of. For now, we're just going to unload all these bales. And the big tires, hopefully, he can run the disc. Let's just get all, I'm, I'm just going to start unloading all these bales. We'll go up here. Undo all the straps we got going here. Perfect. There we go. Um, and I'll just start grabbing the bales from the front. But we're going to be putting a lot of weight on the back over there. Oh, boy. I didn't even grab the bale there. Hold on. We got to make the turn around here. There we go. I think uh, Farmer over there, I think he's using, like, some type of weird mouse or maybe even a laptop. Because he's having a really hard time doing that. Maybe he doesn't even have a mouse. Oh boy, one of those bales, that bale strapped down. We just got to grab this bale here. Oh, kind of kick those bales off. There we go. Okay, for now, we're not going to be able to stack them real nice. So for now, I'm just going to, I'm just going to toss them down over here, guys. There we go. I should start grabbing two at once. I should be able to. Okay. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm not even grabbing the bales like... There we go. Stay on here. Oh, nope, nope. She's going off. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, for now, we're not going to be grabbing the bales, like, correctly. I'm just going to throw them down. We're just going to try to get this unloaded as fast as possible. To be honest, what I could do, if I really wanted to unload them, I could pull this trailer in and, like, lift the side of the trailer so they all tip and roll off. I could do that, dude. <laughs> okay, you guys want to see a tactic to unload these like crazy? Here we go. I'm going to actually do it. Oh, boy. Not yet. Don't, don't unload them yet. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pull back all the way here. And now what I'll do... Oh, boy. We're just kind of like hitting bales over there. Is I'll unlock the load on literally everything. And they should go like all... Oh wait. You can unfold. Okay. There we go. Okay, now what I got to do is I just got to tip the side of the trailer. And they'll all just go and flying off. There we go. We should have them all off almost... Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, okay. Hopefully he gets out of there because I'm about to tip the side of the trailer. Oh, there we go. We're shaking them all off. Okay, now what we need to do is, is just a couple more, a couple more bales we got to get off. There we go. Okay, things are kind of going crazy there. Well, we got them all off. Oh, there we go. Oh, dude, we got a bale underneath here. It just keeps rolling. Okay, well, we kind of got her cleaned up. There we go. And now what I can do is I can just come through and push them all, line them up nicely. Perfect. That works a lot better. It would be better, but I think Farmer over here, he's a little slow with uh, running the loader. I think he's using, he must be using the laptop or something. Okay, Mason was in the tractor. There we go. And now these bales right here, I'm just going to clean them all up real nice. So we have a ton of bales. Yeah, no problem, Fletcher. Okay, I'm not going to... go. Um. Perfect. All the bales should be back. And you know what? I'm going to just take one of these bales and just start pushing the, uh, the other bales through here. There we go. Okay, so we have a ton of bales. I would like to get them, you know, stacked perfectly, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that unless somebody wants to. Okay, big tires is leaving. He'll be said he'll be on later. Perfect. Okay, so these tractors right here. Brett, do you want to use the grain cart? Because we have the 7010 here. If you do, 7010 is not going to be really being used. Oh, actually, th this international here, I can just leave over here. Yeah, Pride Farms. This is Pride Farms tractor. Oh! We don't want to hit Rocky over there. He's just jumping around. Uh, yeah, I can grab the gravity wagon just in case if I need it. Okay. Perfect. Um, just uh, send a text to or not text, but chat to Farmer, uh, Farmer Jeremy over there, and just say, "Can I use a 7810?" But okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna tag over, tag over to 9400 because we gotta get disking. These guys are just going to hang them over here. Um, how, how, how much, okay, I'm gonna just fly up here and see how, how good the field's doing. I think it's I think they're doing pretty good over here, boys. Um, we'll fly up here. Oh boy. 
Okay, they, they're starting to get a lot done. Perfect. There we go. Brett's around the combine. Um, There we go. We're going to drop down here. Okay, I'm going to jump in the 9400 now, and we are going to get disking. Because these guys kind of just stop. Wait, what are we disking right now? Oh, they're disking. Hold on. What field is this? I'm trying to think what even field this is. If we go over here, they are disking field 14. Okay. Perfect. Well, we're just going to be around the 9400, just disking this whole entire field. Or maybe we will, we could wait until spring too. Maybe I'll just do like a couple outer passes too. Is what we could be doing here. It's working good though. Seems to be working good. Okay, big tires. We'll see you later, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Big tires is gone. And then yeah, dude. What do you guys think? Maybe like every Saturday we open this up to. We could just like open this up. That wouldn't be too bad. And we could just have people farm and help me out if I got big projects going on. You can see over there, I got the new hauling going on. And I think, Brett, if you want to grab a 7010 eventually, uh, I don't think anybody's using it. If you want to tab around to it. But then you got, that means you got to take it back all the way to the farm, hook up the grain cart to it, and throw on duels too. But. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait. Are, oh, oh, aren't you the one right? Are you the one running the new hauling, or is that Fletcher? Uh, no, Fletcher left. I'm running it now. Okay. There we go. And then somebody was running the semi down there. Perfect. Maybe I'll grab a 7010 and run it out to you because that will be, that'll be, that'll be tough for you, especially when you're running like the whole operation over there. There we go. I don't know who's taking the Duramax. It must be Farmer over there taking the Duramax. And then I think Mason is back there in the International. He's just going and disking around there. Perfect. I think what I'll do here is I'll just do one or two laps around the field to get the compaction areas. And then in the green i might just buy like a huge cultivator is what we could do the, I, the main goal is just to get this this cornfield all harvested that's what i want to get all done but we're working on her we're getting her somewhat done i'm gonna grab the 7010 so it's a lot easier for these guys too on this corner what i'll do is i'll fold up the 9400 here in case anybody wants to use it and then go grab that 7810 it should be down at pride farm gotta bring her all back and then throw on duels on her but man i can't wait to get all this corn sold that's what I'm excited for. Okay, perfect. 9400. Good enough for now. We're going to uh, just fold her up. Throw her back here. There we go. Pull her up a little bit. Perfect. And then 7810. We got to jump in the 7810. That's what we got to do. 7810. We got to throw duels on her. Jump in here. Okay, so Mason's unloading all the grain here. Perfect. I just walked up. Okay, he's not actually losing the grain. Everything's working smooth here, it looks like. Perfect, dude. It's probably been taking him forever to unload all this grain. What we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is take off of this loader off the 7810. So I'm gonna put the loader back here, somewhere back here. Um. Okay. So usually I think I can throw it under here. We'll see if I can. Come on, boy. Your upper. There we go. Perfect. If I can make it out of here. There we go. And then I'm gonna throw on the duels, and then I'm probably gonna take off the loader attachment right now and just keep it like 100% row crop. Uh, everything just row crop aligned. We'll see what I can do though. So if I go to customize, loader off. Uh, I, I usually go 30 duels. Perfect. Okay. This should be good. It should be ready to go. And then now, dude, we use this tractor for everything. Now we're going to hook up to the grain cart over here. We'll pull through here. And then swing wide back up. Hook through the grain cart. There we go. Okay. And then I'm actually going to let Mason just take this if he wants. Or one of these guys. Uh, okay. I'll just tell him to take it out to the combine. Perfect. He'll take it. There he goes. Okay, he should be taking it out to the combine. I'm going to give him the signal. There he goes. Perfect. Okay, he's running the 7810 out there. How much corn do we have in here, though? I'm curious. So we did have 106,000, and now we do, we're probably going to have a lot. If I can start this thing up. Oh. Dude, is that part of the seasons or the start mod? Because, man, that takes forever to start up. It, like... Oh, wait. Oh, I bet I got some... Uh, yep, I had some grass in there. There we go. Now, I don't know. It just keeps picking up grass all the time. Soybeans, 118,000 liters. Corn, 177,000 liters. And then we still have, I think, 100,000 liters of corn in here. And I'm sure we have, like, 100, 150,000 liters of corn 
get in that field. Dude, we have so we're gonna have so much grain. Okay. How much corn do we have in here? If we can pull through over here. Uh corn. 110,000. Oh dude, we have a ton. Holy crap, this is gonna be insane. And I have what? Fifty-eight thousand dollars I still have to add in the game. I can't don't let me forget to add that money in. We have to add fifty-eight thousand dollars too. We are gonna have a lot of money. We're gonna be upgrading a lot. Perfect. Throw that right there. I wanna check to see how these guys are doing. Okay, what we're gonna do is hopefully they're not okay, yeah. Here we go. I'm just gonna fly up here and just see what these guys are doing. So Brett's harvesting over here. If this is the whole field. New Holland's getting full over there. Brett, I have the 7810. It should be running out to you, so you should have help there. Uh -huh. There we go. And are you just going around and around and around the field? That's, yeah, that'll work good. Actually. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's actually just what I'm doing. Okay, perfect. 7810's running out. So, yeah, we still have a lot of grain over here to get done. But we'll be harvesting this. We should be getting her done soon. Oh, is that a ditch through there? What that is? Oh, no, that's a road. The road, and there's a steep ditch over there. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. I'm so close to being done. We're ready for winter. We're ready to sell this grain and get some new equipment. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. <coughs>